Welcome to the first ever periodic table derby where you will have mole dollars to bet on horses from the periodic table and you will use their gram amounts from the periodic table to determine the odds of them winning. So, for example, in our first race, we have rhodium on my horse representing the element rhodium. That will be an orange horse in the first position. If you want to bet on rhodium my horse, look at the periodic table for rhodium, see how much it weighs, and figure out what your winnings would be. Second position will be cesium the day, the black horse, the third horse, my wife's antimony, fourth horse, led the way, fifth horse, silicon sally, and the sixth horse, bismuth casual, the purple horse. So choose which horse you want to bet. You will have one mole dollar for this first race, one mole dollar. So whichever one you choose, you're going to look at the periodic table. Let's say we were going to go with bismuth casual. Bismuth casual on the periodic table shows us that for every one mole, the periodic table always tells us for one mole how many grams there are. So for one mole of bismuth, there are 208.98 grams of bismuth. We cancel moles, and we get that that would bring in 208.98 grams of bismuth if he comes in a winner. When you hear this, please hit pause and figure out, calculate your horse before the race starts. Here. And there they are. They're off. Uh, led the way in the beginning with a strong lead. Rhodium on my horse coming up in second. The rest of the horse is far behind. Led the way. Continue to go. But here comes Silicon Sally. Silicon Sally passes. Everyone comes in first. Here comes Cesium the day as a second and third place. Bismuth casual coming in as a third. So if you bet. Silicon Sally, Cesium the Day, or Bismuth Casual, please calculate your winnings or hold on to those grams as we get into the second race. Okay, for race two, the first position, Selenium Gomez, the black horse, the second horse, Mercury Rising, the red horse, the third horse, Gold Digger, represented by the purple horse, Good Samarium is in the fourth position, the white horse, the fifth position is Hi-Ho Silver as an orange horse, and the sixth position, You Break em, We Helium, the blue horse. This will be a two mole dollar race. So if you want to put the two mole dollars on helium, those two mole dollars will yield eight gram dollars if helium comes in. So two moles will cancel the one mole from the periodic table on the bottom, four grams of helium on the top, which we got from the periodic table mass. And that will bring in eight gram dollars if you break them when helium comes in. Pause now to figure out your horse's winnings. Okay, they're at the starting eight, and they're off. Off they go, Selenium Gomez off to a big start, along with Good Samarium and Gold Digger. Good Samarium, Gold Digger, Selenium Gomez coming out very quickly in the beginning. It looks like Selenium Gomez starting to take a bit more of a league, followed by Good Samarium, Selenium Gomez, Good Samarium. Look out of nowhere, Hi Ho Silver, Hi Ho Silver in first, second place, Selenium Gomez, and third place, Good Samarium. Calculate your gram dollars if you bet on either Good Samarium, Selenium Gomez, or Hi-Ho Silver. All three are winners. Okay, the third race. Only the top two will win this time. Bury him a friend in the first position is the blue horse. Kryptonite, the black horse in second position. Pain in the arsenic, third horse in the orange horse. Boron in the USA, the fourth position, the red horse. The fifth horse, stick out your tungsten, is purple. And Airbnb, the white horse, in the last position. Let's say we want to put our money on Airbnb. This time we're talking about 6.85 moles. So 6.85 moles, Airbnb, Airbnb on the periodic table is 167.26 grams. So to cancel moles, we want moles on the bottom. 167.26 grams on the top. 6.85 times 167.26 gives us that big number if he comes in as a winner. 1145.73 gram dollars if he comes in as a winner. They're lined up at the gate and here they go. Off to a quick start. Kryptonite. Kryptonite out of the lead. But here comes Boron in the USA. Big four-way tie between Boron, Barium, Krypton, and Pain in the Arsenic. Oh, look at this. It's Barium, a friend, coming out. But then Ars Boron in the USA 
Boron in the USA, followed by Barry, my friend. Then stick out your tungsten too late for this race, though, as was pain in the arsenic. So please, the only winners this time would be Boron in the USA and Barry, my friend. For the final race, only the number one wins. So in the first place, Aluminum Foal, the White Horse, Wizard of Osmium, the Purple Horse in the second position, Sulphur So Good in the third position, the Blue Horse, Iron the Tiger, the Orange Horse in the fourth position, Thorium Ragnarok, the fifth position, the Black Horse, and Nickel and Dime, the sixth horse. This time we'll be betting 12.7 mole dollars. Let's say I want to put that on Nickel and Dime. If I have 12.7 mole dolls, dollars given, I want to put one mole dollar for every one mole dollar on the periodic table. There are 58.69 grams of nickel, meaning I would win 745.36 gram dollars should nickel and dime come in the top spot. Here they go. It's a three-way race between Wizard of Ozzy and so far so good and Iron the Tiger. Those were the three, but, but look, now it's become a two. So far so good and Wizard of Ozzy. Wizard of Ozzy, so far so good, so far so good. But look, here comes Iron the Tiger. It's coming in, but it's Wizard of Ozzy in first and only place. So if you bet on Wizard of Ozzy, you are the winner of this one. So what I need you to do, anytime you had a winner, please add those grams for all four races together, and whoever has the highest total will be properly acknowledged in class. Thank you for the Periodic Table Derby's first ever running.